hello students so now we'll see uh, a next map where we'll discuss about a uh, different geological features so i also uh, as i already explained you you should hold the map in such a way that the north direction should be always away from you and the uh, scale should be towards you but uh, just because of the space constraint so you can you see it properly i'll be holding the map in this fashion so that i can explain you much and much better uh, things so here there are few uh, geological features which we need to understand before we proceed so the first geological feature is that this in this map there is a unconformity so what is the unconformity unconformity is nothing but the gap between the two formations so we have a two formation that is a b c d e and another formation is p q r s these two formations are totally apart from each other and they are apart with the line of unconformity i made this line as zigzag line i made this line as zigzag line that line is called as line of unconformity but how i get to know here in a previous map we have seen that the bedding planes and contour lines are meeting each other but in this map we observe that bedding planes and bedding planes are meeting at this location this is the one point this is another point where bedding plane and bedding planes are meeting each other one bedding plane and bedding planes are meeting each other at that location we call it as the uh, the so called unconformity line apart from that this is the point from where the two bedding planes are separating so the, we understood that this is the line of unconformity is the line of unconformity next point in this is if you observe pqr series here the bedding planes and contour lines are not cutting each other they are not cutting each other but here the bedding planes and contour lines are cutting each other this understood that this series pqrs is horizontal in nature it is unlike our first map while abcd efg is inclined in nature is inclined in nature because bedding plane and contour lines are meeting each other so the first and foremost task uh, 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 is to join the xy line i'll just draw my xy line i'll join this xy line first i'll join x and y line okay now once i join the xy line once i join the xy line the next major task i'll take a piece of paper white paper and i'll just put on this xy line or we can say it has profile line as well and then i'll start taking down the notes or the start taking down the points out of it okay so i'll say this is my point x then i have this point as my contour value is 300 then a bedding plane bigger line i had drawn e f and e then again a bedding plane e and d again a bedding plane d and c then this feature i'll explain it this point is called as this point is called as the dike how i understood this is dike that also i'll explain okay then i have this bedding plane i'll just draw it the bedding plane then i'll take another bedding plane here then the value is 300 then i have another value which is also 400 then a line of unconformity then i have value as 500 then a bedding plane this shift it then p and q then i have value of 600 then q and r then 700 then here comes r and s that is next is 800 yes 800 and then my point y okay note it down with this will be drawing the profile with this values i'll be drawing the profiles okay so for easiness i have already drawn the profile here and i kept this part ready so we can see this is our profile where all the points are been mentioned this is our profile where all the points are been mentioned here. okay so this is the profile of it we have completed okay then then what we can do is we can even complete the uh, the transferring of the bedding planes i'll transfer the bedding planes here okay so i'll start from this point i'll say this is done and whenever we have a uh, so called uh, our dike the dike i should draw it as a horizontal one or the vertical one 
okay this is my dike okay and we'll give it different color to this okay then this is line of unconformity i'm taking okay then i have these points also i'll be plotting then i'll be drawing the budding planes here because we understood that pqrs is horizontal in nature so i'm drawing the horizontal beds so i'm drawing the horizontal beds and then the last one is this is the line of unconformity but i am doing it with horizontal scale just because and i'll mark it in a horizontal fashion zigzag line i will draw it on that so that we'll understand this is the line of unconformity if you see the map if you see the map it will it is clear that this line is parallel to this body plane so this is also the horizontal in nature so i complete with this coming back to the abcd series here we observe that abcd series is inclined in nature abcd series is inclined in nature so when we have inclined uh, beds we are seeing in the map number 2 that whenever we have inclined beds our values uh, uh, our work will increase because we need to calculate the dip direction and dip amount we are need to calculate the dip direction and the dip amount whenever we want to calculate the dip direction and dip amount first and foremost task that we should draw the spike lines okay so so once you complete the task of drawing a profile the next immediate task which you need to perform is to draw the deal with the uh, inclined beds so first of all you need to mark the points where budding plane and contour lines are meeting each other so i already have marked all these points then after this you need to draw a strike line already how to draw the strike line and what is the strike line i already explained so here this is my first strike line this is my first strike line which i completed now similarly i'll be just drawing the other strike lines as well i'm drawing the other strike lines as well okay so this is one and all strike lines should be parallel to each other they all the strike lines should be parallel to each other this is the most important criteria in drawing the strike lines so once you draw the strike lines once you draw the strike lines we have how many strike lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 six strike lines are there means five intervals will be available five intervals will be available after this we need to draw the two important points which are or which we need to calculate which are the dip direction and dip amount dip direction and dip amount so first get is the dip direction so how we will be doing is we'll be considering one of the bedding bedding plane we'll start moving on this we got a first value here first first point where bedding plane contour lines and strike lines are joining so we mark that point and we'll assign a value of this contour line to the strike line so this is the value of 400 so i'll write down here as 400 same way same bedding plane i'll continue i'll go further i got one more point whose value is 300 i'll mark that 300 over here I'll mark that 300 over here so higher to lower will be the strike line higher to lower will be the the uh, dip direction so that dip direction is due x due x we can check with other beds also you will get the similar value. so i'll write down here my dip direction is due x now let us find out the dip amount so first formula is strike interval divided by contour interval into scale is the formula strike interval divided by contour interval into scale how much is the strike interval we need to calculate so it's contour interval by strike interval contour interval by strike interval contour interval is how much contour interval is 100 Contour interval is 100. And how much is the strike interval? As we discussed earlier, we need to measure the distance from first contour value to the last contour value. So the distance over here is 
5 centimeters it's 8.5 centimeters i'll note down 8.5 centimeters 8.5 centimeters divided by how many intervals 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 intervals so this comes around this this, this comes around 1.6 close to 1.6 okay so i'll write down that 1.6 here into 1 by 100 so this 100 100 will get cancel my i will get it 1.6 that comes around 1 is to 1.6 is the 1, 1 is to 1.6 is the dip amount once you got this two parameters we will shift it here okay so this is my point x and this is my point y okay so here at x point we know that the dip direction is due x dip direction is due x so i will drop 1 centimeter over here I'll drop one centimeter over here from the top. This is my one centimeter and one is to 1.6. So I'll measure 1.6 at this location. I'll measure 1.6 here and that 1.6 I'll just join. I'll join this distance. 1.6 distance I'll join it here. Okay. Once I join this, I Parallelly, I will be drawing all the inclined beds. I will be parallelly, I will be drawing all these inclined beds. Okay, so I will start from here. The next bed. The next bed. And here, we should not enter into the dike part. We should only draw up to this. We should not enter into the dike part. Then again here we should leave the dike part and we should draw this back. Okay, so all the beds I had drawn. So this is F E D C B and this will be A. D C B A will be the beds. So this is how your map will look like. After this, we have to draw the index part. So how many beds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and the dike one, 11, total 11 uh, components will be there. So I will be just holding them. Okay, then I will draw the top part. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten, and one more we have eleven. Okay, so I have done everything. Joined it. Then I write down on the top as bed. This is thickness, okay, bed and thickness. Then the topmost will be the dike. I'll write down D Y K dike. I'll measure this distance. It is one point. Yes, it's one centimeter. Yes, hundred meters. This is hundred meters. Okay. Then on the top we have this is S bed. This is R, this is Q and this is P. Okay, so I'll write down first R, so S, R, Q, P. After this, I'll draw the line of unconformity and note it with U and U. Then A, B, C, D, E and F. I'll measure S will is younger one. On the top, okay, S is angle 1. Then we have R. Let's measure how much is the R. R is 5, 6, 7, 70 meters. Q is 120 meters. P is 100 meters. Same way, A we cannot measure, it is uh, not equal. Okay, then I'll start measuring B. B is 90 meters 
then C is 110 meters then D as again 110 meters F sorry E is 90 meters F is will write down as older one F will write down as older one okay this is how we can complete the map then you can write down here as geological map 3 okay section along x and y section along x and y then you can go for coloring of it you can go for the coloring of it whatever color you will be giving here okay so i'll start with environmental color Okay, whatever color you give, you should give the same color here also. So I even it for F. So F and color it green. Okay. So this is how you can complete all the coloring part. So once you complete, your map will look like this. Okay. This is how you can complete the map number 3. Okay. Thank you.